Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. I'm back out at the retreat in beautiful West by God, Virginia. I've been here about six weeks working on a lot of projects and general maintenance around the retreat on the off-grid solar power, my rainwater collector. This video might shock you. I'm finally going to get back on topic and talk about radio communications. For those of you who have been following my channel over the years, all the HF videos I've done out here at the retreat have involved temporary or portable antennas. Well, I finally got around to installing a permanent HF antenna here at the retreat, an Alpha Technical folded dipole. I was able to purchase two recycled 30-foot telephone poles and get them set. I have one here in front of the cabin and a second one 100 feet away over by the shed. And strung between those two telephone poles is a 200 watt version of Alpha Technical's broadband HF folded dipole. Uh, I don't have the full spec sheet with me but I believe it's 2 to 30 megahertz. This is the 90 foot version. Uh, there's several different power versions made by Alpha Technical and several different frequency ranges. What I really like about the Alpha Technical folded dipole is how they do the center components with a single piece of plastic to hold everything evenly spaced. The loading resistor and the ballon. Now I've been installing folded dipoles professionally for over 30 years and when I put a folded dipole up I like to use two halyard ropes as you can see there and instead of using pulleys I like to use stainless steel eye bolts. I've found over the years that uh, why pulleys work great when you first install the antenna once they get a little bit of corrosion they don't spin freely and the rope can tend to get stuck between the side of the housing and the pulley. So I like to use the stainless steel eye bolts and then I will replace this rope every year. Now this isn't the best rope, this is temporary, but I wanted to use something that was bright and would show up well in the video. I can get closer to this set of eye bolts here and show you. I was waiting for the sun to go down. So those are two stainless steel eye bolts there with two halyard ropes and I spaced the eye bolts out wider than the spacing of the antenna and again I like to use two ropes to prevent the antenna from twisting in high winds and then for the base I purchased a galvanized cleat and tie it up and once a year I'll go ahead and replace this rope now I'll put links down below to Alpha Technical's antennas now these antennas are built really well and very reasonably priced. Uh, there's other antennas on the market that can go well over a thousand dollars and there's several folded dipole antenna options by Alpha Technical which are under a thousand dollars and some even under seven hundred and fifty dollars. So I'll be doing more videos on this antenna. I just wanted to get something up there to show you what I got going and to get back on topic because it has been quite a while since I made an actual radio video. So as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper, introducing my new permanent antenna. And if you have any questions, send me an email or leave a comment down below. And again, I'll put Alpha Technical's information in the comment section if you want to contact them directly. Thanks for watching, everybody.